Assalamualaikum Sayyidi. Any questions for Interactive Thursday? Assalamualaikum Sayyidi. Wa alaikum salam wa Sayyidi, regarding the ya from today's sohba, can you explain the realities of the two nukts? Hmm? <laughs> no. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Inshallah. Alhamdulillah. Inshallah, everybody to comment on the videos and alhamdulillah we put that out and lots of people commenting and lots of people participating, alhamdulillah that Allah give people more and more and, and give a himmah to people whom have a, a zeal in which to improve themselves. If a person doesn't wish to improve themselves and remain stagnant then they become stale. Means you can't make wudu with water just sits in a pond, it becomes what we call dead. You know the water has to flow so that it's, it has a, a life force and that life force is to dress us and clean us and take away difficulties that which becomes stagnant dies, it loses its life force, it loses its himmah and it loses its opportunity to improve. So there's a tremendous importance in, in, in days of, of immense ignorance that feel upon this earth is to participate, to, to be active and in every capacity possible to be active. So that nobody is excluded from that activity, means that everybody to show they're in it, to show they're participating, to comment, to post, to share, all of that opens up uh, an immense reality and it keeps ourselves to be fresh. That people come through that reality, people are inspired by that reality and we don't know whom Allah gave a golden ticket in which you share and somebody Allah is calling through your sharing comes towards this reality and you receive the reward of that. So that's not something that can be achieved. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh, this is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. In life, so somebody who has a day-to-day -day activity and goes to work and comes home and say, well how can I achieve any immense reward or, or some sort of immense reality? It's a very easy. That Allah works in miraculous ways and if you keep praying that, Ya Rabbi grant me from your himmah, grant me from your realities, grant me for your blessings, but then He's giving away, well then share the page. Maybe through your share one person will come and that person Allah's calling to that reality, you receive like the affiliate link, you receive all the reward of that one coming through your click and through your link. Allah doesn't have to tell you and you're not going to call the person and remind them but whatever blessings they achieve as a result of you guiding them into that reality, you're now in like an affiliate link linked on to them through a smart contract. Everything they achieve they dress through you. So there's immense ways in which Allah wants to dress us and bless us. We pray that Allah inspire all of us to, to participate and to, to achieve 
whatever Allah wants to grant us. We don't know from what bounty Allah wants to grant upon our souls. And this is all from the ni'mat and, and the, the love and the ishq of Sayyidina Muhammad that Allah provides ways for people to achieve in which they never thought was possible and definitely not from their own actions. Because not everybody can study then seclude and then Allah open realities for them then those realities they'll go out and teach to people and the people will come to guidance. But Allah then gave a very easy, share the link to the shaykh and whom comes to guidance as a result of that link you share in that barakah and that blessings. For dunya we have affiliate links but for akhirah it requires faith and a zeal in which to want to do it inshaAllah. <clears throat> As salaamu alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum As salaam Thank you for these teachings. Uh, would, the, would the letters have different power and secrets when used outside of the Qur'an? The letters have different powers and secrets. Yeah, I would imagine it's not the same power as Qur'an. So it means that the Qur'an's power is Qur'an's power, there's nothing like onto it. The salawat and du'as and nasheeds are then a different power that have nothing like onto those. So every word has a power, that's why we gave the talk of people who use the word in a bad way. You know the spelling when they're casting spells. So that's when you get to know Allah's kingdom. We said that the kingdom is coming. So this is a, a kingdom that by the arrival of Sayyidina Muhammad 1500 years ago وسلم, the kingdom of Allah came. So people are waiting for the kingdom, it came. And it came with all of its beatific language and it's about to open its doors and begin to propagate upon this earth. The kingdom of shaitan is very distinguishable, everything is bad and dirty. So the casting, spelling, all these words intentions are to harm. So the kingdom of God every word is based on beatific and, and, and positivity and, and, and energies and peace and blessings. So this is the kingdom of the heavens. It makes itself clear for people. So definitely anything positive that we use the kalam and we use the huruf and anyone who studies the huruf they have the building blocks of Allah's realities upon their heart so that they understand and when they write they have a power in everything that they write. So this is a, a reality and we describe that in the pen, Zalam bil qalam. Alam mahyalam that Allah I'm going to teach you by the pen and it's not what you what you you know you think you know but every reality will come by that pen and not not what they think means that Allah will give a, a might into the pen because they hold a Muhammadan reality because that pen represents Prophet it's Qul Ya Muhammad Qalam has a qaf lam and a meme the qalam itself represents the, the reality of Prophet that you are a conveyor of Muhammadan realities. If Allah activate the pen of His servant means everything they write has an immense power. And futuhat of awliyaullah they can shake the throne of the Divinely Presence. Means they have such a proximity to Allah and such a proximity to the love of Sayyidina Muhammad that the, it can't be described and anything you do describe people wouldn't understand or believe it anyways. So every letter has a power and every holy letter has an immensely holy power and every negative letter has a very negative power. So we taught both sides of, of the spectrum, so yes inshaAllah. <coughs> Uh, as salaamu alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum as salaam wa rahmatullah Does a person's reality and spiritual achievement depend upon the Arabic letters of the name given to them? Is it good to name children with 
the names that have more memes? Hmm. I don't know about that, but the most preferred name by Prophet was Muhammad So it has an immensity to, to name with the name of Prophet and the holy names of the Ahlul Bayt and holy names of the holy companions. So every, every name and whatever we name our children has a tajalli and has a light and a blessing upon it and that's why they describe also not to, to mention or to name too powerful a name because it has an effect on people. That everything has that we call upon has a name. So when we name things you're calling upon something, you're bringing about something. So certain names are, are best not to put a very heavy name on a child or a very heated name upon a child. So alhamdulillah. But uh, most important in this understanding is study this reality, not into, you know, should I name this, what's the letters of my name and what's this, what… more to find out that this reality towards the heavens. Myself is, is not important, I've spent a life in which to bury it. The more you can negate yourself and your seed and your particle and enter more towards the reality of the wave. So when we study this knowledge in ilmu khuruf it's not to know myself more, my name is this, oh it means like this light, it means like this, you know, but I'm trying to bury that guy. So I want to know more from Allah's reality of Prophet Muhammadan haqqaiqs. So if I go in that direction and go deep into those uloom, into those knowledges as a result uh, byproduct is I'll know more about my reality. But to seek my reality first then I become distracted inshaAllah. As As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa In recent years many Muslims are celebrating Halloween claiming it's harmless. Is there a relationship between Dajjal and Halloween celebrating ghosts, monsters and witches? Yeah every, every, everything that people celebrate has a tajalli and the, the offerings of, of things to tajallis and, and so these all have a, a danger within them. Some people because they live in the western world it's just surrounding them. So there's people coming from door to door and, and everywhere around so they, they try to do what they can do to survive it and to pass the night in remembrance and whatever they can. But to outwardly go out of your way to celebrate it like it's an Eid for you in which to uniform yourself and put everything and go out of your way then I don't think it's advisable because it is a, a deep satanic ritual. And that those are offerings for shaitan, so that those don't have a, a benefit. So that's up to individual people if they think they're going to take that risk then that's up to themselves. But people who are not in a Muslim country or they are in a Muslim country and they begin to, <laughs> to do those things in their country where that's just outright wickedness. That it's not in their lands, it had nothing to do with their land and their lands are based on the worshipness of Allah and they begin to bring these things into their country. That's very dangerous because that, that has a heavy punishment from Allah That when you live amongst ignorance and your job is to enlighten the ignorance, not become ignorant but to enlighten the ignorance through good character, softness then you're continuously working your way to politely enlighten people. But to live in enlightened land supposedly and invite ignorance has a completely different relationship with Allah So that's the difference is that if you're in an ignorant area and trying to spread light then Allah gives you some leeway on um, you know the times that you can be active and the times that you know you just not be so active in pursuit of enlightenment. But to live in enlightened lands 
and say, you know what, I want to introduce darkness here, that, that is coming directly against Allah so that you have to be careful. So our audiences are worldwide from lands of ignorance and into the lands of light. In the lands of light, stay in the light and, and, and don't follow any pursuit of any type of ignorance. And those within ignorant areas then try to spread the light with kindness and compassion inshaAllah. And people are waking up and, and researching all of these rituals on their own and people begin to awaken and they find the source and the origin of all of these uh, programs. We said before in, in, in everything, everything has a very deep pagan background that putting t money for tooth. For, for children's teeth, well that was because they were making offerings because there were shaitans and jinn that would come and, and kill people to take their teeth. And to avoid these creatures attacking their families, they would make offerings of their teeth. And they, they developed the whole concept of a tooth fairy, there is no tooth fairy, there is nothing from Allah's angels coming to take your teeth away and pay you some cash for it. These were creatures whom collected, Allah put within their desire something from humans, these are shayateen. So as a result to keep those creatures away they would make an offering that, please you, you take this, this uh, teeth here, this one here and don't sort of kill us to take our teeth. So no, these, these are very dangerous, dangerous things that these people do and, and Allah sent us and planted all our, our souls here to spread light, not to copy the darkness and, and now put upon ourselves a darkness. Is imagine a cave and Allah sends you, I'm going to send you into that cave so that you can illuminate a people. Because Allah described, we never destroy the people until we send warnings. So it means that everything is merciful, Allah is merciful, so send a warning and, and how many families have been migrated into these areas like dark caves and their life and their destiny was spread warnings, go in and, and illuminate the darkness. But can you imagine you go into the cave, you turn your light off and you begin to join the darkness. So that, that's something that you know we, we pray that Allah save us from that type of difficulty, inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamu ala mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Inna sharaf al Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa ala sahabi kiram wa ala mashaykhina fi tariqatul ashbaliyyat al aliyya wa sayra wa sadatina wa siddiqeena al fa'ah. As salaamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Narjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.